right, let's wrap this show up with our favorite bets uh, from the Premier League this weekend. I'm going to go first. It's the pain train, a Liverpool under Liverpool, Aston Villa under three and a half minus 115. This Aston Villa team has been much better defensively under Steven Gerrard, the Liverpool legend coming to Anfield to manage against his former team. So it could be a little bit of a motivational thing here. That's why I don't really hate uh, a little sprinkle on the Villa money line, but the under to me, we, we talk about it all the time with Liverpool, like they're across the board, everything's inflated with them. That includes their offensive numbers. So I'm, Thinking an under three and a half, it's very hard to score for in a, in a game, and you're getting decent odds, minus 115 on it to go against. And I trust this Villa defense to get that job done against the Liverpool team, by the way, that didn't rest its attackers in a meaningless game in the Champions League over the midweek. So this team will be playing a lot of soccer. They've been playing a lot of meaningful matches. I'm taking it under uh, and hoping that Aston Villa can hang on here uh, under three and a half, minus 115. BJ, what about you? Southampton plus one minus 130 at Arsenal. I, I really don't understand this price on Arsenal. They look completely lost after going up a goal against Everton on Monday night. They're going to be facing a Southampton that's going to press, press, press them a ton. And Arsenal's a team that to be effective, they have to have the ball. They're not very good at sitting back and playing defensively because they hardly ever press. So going against the Southampton offense, that is top seven in a lot of metrics that we look at. And defensively, the only thing they really struggle with was giving up big scoring chances. Arsenal, only 11th in big scoring chances created this season. Lacazette, Aubameyang, our form is way down. I think this is a great spot for Southampton, who has played a lot better than we thought this season. So give me them plus one at minus 130. And Anthony, bring this show home. Yeah, this price seems a little short to me. Chelsea and leads both teams to score, yes, minus 100, 110, uh, like it up to 120. Chelsea's attack. Romelu Lukaku's back. Timo Werner, two goals and an assist against Zenit. Seems like the attack is okay, but the midfield engine room that has powered this team and allowed them to completely dominate and really been the main reason that this defense has been so impenetrable for the last year since Tuchel took over, not quite looking the same recently. Edward Mendy seems to be having a bit of a dip in his form in terms of shot stopping. Ben Chilwell is out. N'Golo Kante is out. And we've seen that the goals are starting to rack up against the Blues. The regression that we've talked about so much on this podcast starting to show itself. I think Leeds will get on the board here, but do not trust them in terms of a spread here because their attack is, or their defense is already 16th in non penalty expected goals allowed. And that's without playing Chelsea or Manchester City the first time around the schedule. So I think they might be even worse than that. So don't trust them in terms of spread or margin or total, but do think both teams will score here. So I'd like both teams to score. 